Hi guys! Um, today we're going to be making some uh, eucalyptus essential oils and getting some hydrosol. So this is eucalyptus globulus and I got this brand off of Amazon and I um, haven't used this brand before and it says here kosher which I really like. So um, let's get to the video. Sorry for the rumbling. Look at that. Mm. We are going to make some tea. So I'm going to put one teaspoon of water to that. Eight ounces of water it says. And I'm gonna cover that and have it steep for five minutes. So today I'm gonna to be using my fave, the um, the copper copper still, and I think this is enough to fold this up. Okay, so the column is all filled up with the eucalyptus material um, and I'm going to put this little sift on and we're going to add the water. I'm using the still water. I always use the still water or um, just spring water. And we're going to put the seal on like so. And then just put the top on. Set up the water line, which I get these two holes and I put it in um, the inlet and the outlet at the back of the still. And um, I'm not going to go ahead and film that because I have that film in other videos. Um, so just to save time, um, I'm going to Put these on on the inlet and outlet, turn the pump on and I'll come back to the video. Okay, so I set up the inlet and the outlet hose at the back here for the cool water to go in and cool off the condenser while the upper hose takes out the warm water. Um, if you see the condenser, it's like very, very cold, so there's cold water. Um, filtering in there already. So I turn on the stove or the hot plate and then I'm gonna set up my my hydrosol and essential oil collector and then we put this little this little funnel underneath there and then I put this bottle under here to collect the Hydrosol and the little glass um, funnel to collect the oil. And that's it. We're all set up. Okay, so it's mo been more than five minutes um, with my tea. So I'm going to strain this out. I'm just going to add a little bit of honey and there it is, the eucalyptus tea. Mm. It's good. Okay, so we have our few drops of hydrosol that starts to come out. Um, we're just going to set this to 25 minutes. Mm. It started to smell so good. It's releasing all of those beautiful fragrance and smell of um, the smell of eucalyptus. Okay, so I turn the um, hot plate off or the stove off um, and I'm gonna make another batch so I'm gonna break this down and um, 
load it up again but before I do that I'm gonna show you guys the oil and that's the oil pipe it and just extract the oil that's on top of the hydrosol and just load it up in the bottle so that's how much we got that's probably less than maybe 5 ml this is a 5 ml bottle so okay so I got my pipe pit ready and I'm just going to Put that in there. A little bit more than so I usually put this cap on make sure it snaps in really good put the cap back on there we go and I labeled it getting rid of those pesky bugs or mosquitoes in a nice and safe healthy way natural way you put a few drops of the eucalyptus on a candle and you light it and if you're sitting outside you can just put this out and you have your bug repellent right here that's one little tip the other one is um you can make a salve 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 <laughs> uh, you can take one tablespoon of coconut oil so this is your coconut oil and I'm just gonna scoop it out of my finger put it in there So you have your one scoop of coconut oil and you have six drops, six drops of your eucalyptus oil. So here we go. One, two, three, four, boy, this came out really fast. Five, six about seven of it in there but that's okay mix it up I like to mix this up really good and then I would pour this in here and close it up and I have myself from myself um, chest rub so we'll take a little bit out and just rub it on your chest you can do a body massage. I'm putting some jojoba oil here. So one teaspoon of jojoba oil. One teaspoon of jojoba oil. So we're gonna go one two three four drops one in there but that's fine so you put three drops to one teaspoon for your body massage oil stir it up 
mix it up really good. And this you can use for a good um, foot massage, massage under your feet after a long day of work. Mmm, smells so good. Also, what you can do is um, just put it in your diffuser. Put some water in here. So many things for your beautiful oil. So you would put like a couple drops in your diff in the, your um, diffuser. And there you go. It helps to clear the air. Helps you with um, breathing. Mm. Just try to make sure that you um, you keep it away from kids um, or very young kids. I'm gonna pour my my eucalyptus hydrosol in here. I'm also going to pour this yummy one with a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to put the label on here and put it in the fridge. We're good to go. So you have your beautiful fresh eucalyptus hydrosol and your fresh eucalyptus essential oil. By the way, I still have my um, stainless steel still there and I'm going to use it for some ginger oil. So um, just to see that works. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.